on the open market in the UK this month. The team, which has helped build the home, says they're much more affordable. Here's our science reporter, Victoria Gill. In England alone, we're only building half the number of new homes we need. But to meet rising demand throughout the UK, do we need to think differently about the materials yes, we build with? Yes, of course we do. Like these new houses in Bristol that are 80% straw. They're the first straw bale homes in the UK to go on the open market, so any buyer can make an offer. Crucially, the technique is now certified as safe and mortgageable, and the team hopes that this sale will be a tipping point to move building with straw from a pet project for the ecologically minded into the mainstream of house building. I think there's a lot of misconceptions about using straw, stories about the three little pigs and the big bad wolf, concerns about fire resistance, and our, structure, our testing over a number of years and our research has demonstrated that it is robust and safe form of construction. It's also a sustainable material we can grow, the leftover stalks from cereal crops that are normally used for animal bedding. Nearly four million tonnes of surplus straw are produced every year in the UK. It takes just over seven tonnes to build a three-bedroom house. That means that there's potential to grow the material for half a million new homes every year. In Why British is there so many homeless? Tony, yeah. CO2 out of the atmosphere. So the more buildings we can build out of renewable materials like straw and timber, the less CO2 will be in the atmosphere, and we can start to reduce climate change effects. Like all the straw bale homes built in the UK up to now, this cooperative housing project in Leeds was specially commissioned. Lilac project. In this very clean lined modern development, you don't get much of an impression of building from straw. But if you come in here, this is one of the guest rooms and it has a little feature wall. Through this pane of glass, you can see some of the straw bales that all of the homes here are built from. Paul Chatterton co-founded the development and moved in two years ago. It's proven to be a test case for the practical advantages of straw bale walls. Typically, for a year, we have energy bills of about £200 a year. So £200 gas, £200 electricity, that's £400 combined for a, a four-bedroom house. That's an, an unbelievable Jeez. discount compared to what most normal houses pay. The same architects now have permission to build 50 more straw bale houses like these. They hope the developments will start a new trend in affordable, field-grown homes. Victoria Gill. BBC News. The technology job. Let us build in the fields, build sustainable houses, little round houses. It's about time the planning and so part of the green belt was left for the people of England to house themselves. Because let's face it, year upon year upon year, we need two million houses in the UK and it's there must be I don't know half a million homeless all across the UK we could be building our own houses out of straw bales much quicker than any Tory or Conservative government will ever let us the planning laws have got to be relaxed to allow us to get housed Where's all the projects for we, where we can train to build a straw bell house? They haven't got to look like that, four bedroom houses. It could be little round houses out of cold wood. Where's the community products? Where's the land for us? Where is the land in the UK which is cheap and affordable? Or even rent, long term rent. So we can, um, we can pay back the land if we build our own houses relatively cheaply we can pay back the land as a rent and own a little section and grow our own food and get established gardens get food on our plot and we can maybe have some chickens have community gardens have community solar you know Deal with our sewage ourselves, have a, a community system, you know, maybe 50 homes per thing with a community uh, septic tank, human manure, composting toilets, grey water recycling, all tied up. We don't need no sewage, we don't need no power in, we don't need no grid connections, we don't need it, all we need is broadband. Give us us houses and is broadband. 
That's all we need.